two common terms you hear used a lot in the Android community are root and rooting. They're used all the time. This app requires root. Your device needs to be rooted first. Does it require root? But what does root mean exactly? Think of it as being similar to administrator privileges. The act of rooting is giving yourself access to the root directory on the system partition. In other words, you gain total control over your device. This control enables you to allow actions to take place that otherwise couldn't. For instance, back in the day, there was a tethering application that floated around that required access to the root directory. But that feature is now built directly into the Android system. So why should you root? First and foremost, if you have no other reason to root your Android device, you should do it for the power of backups. Setting up a new device is fun for the first time, but if something goes wrong, setting it up a second or third time is painstakingly boring and repetitive. Using various forms of backups, you can restore your device to exactly how it was before. One application, by the name of Titanium Backup, for instance, gives you ultimate control over your applications, application data, and much more. When you set up the device again, simply restore your backups and pick up where you left off. Even better are Nandroid backups, which create backup images of your current system. In other words, you can wipe your device, restore a Nandroid backup, and you're exactly where you were when you started. The major benefit here is when flashing custom ROMs or other customizations to your current ROM. Make a backup first, so if anything goes haywire, all you have to do is restore and you still have a working phone exactly as it was before everything turned south. Using Titanium Backup, you can uninstall any pre-installed applications that you don't want. For example, the ROM I'm currently using came with a help application that I don't want or need. Removing it is as simple as finding it in Titanium, selecting it, and hitting uninstall. Custom ROMs and recoveries are one of the most popular reasons for rooting. When you root your device, you often flash a custom recovery in the process. This replaces the stock recovery with a more robust version that generally has a lot more features and options. These custom recoveries are how you perform your Nandroid backups and flash custom ROMs. Custom ROMs are various builds of Android that offer an endless list of features such as near-stock Android on the Galaxy S3 or Sense-like and TouchWiz-like features on a stock-like build. There are popular strains such as CyanogenMod or MIUI which are rapidly updated. MIUI offers a robust theme engine that allows you to practically make the interface look however you want. And CyanogenMod implements a host of new useful features atop Jellybean, such as a DSP equalizer. If your phone is beginning to run a little slow, flash a new ROM and breathe some life into it. It will not only likely provide a performance boost, but it can also make the device feel a little more new. Speaking of performance boosts, overclocking the CPU can provide a nice power boost if you feel your device is slowing down or doesn't run fast enough. Or, if you're burning through your battery too quickly, you can undervolt the kernel and underclock the processor. The device will run slower, of course, but the battery will almost certainly have more stamina. Toying with different kernels can result in major performance changes, and it can allow the user to get exactly what they want and need out of their phone. Lastly, there are a ton of applications out there that require root access to allow you to do things to your phone that you couldn't do before, such as Ad Free, Wi-Fi Kill, Network Spoofer, Root Explorer, GMD Speed Time, etc. Some of these applications come with a lot of power, so be sure to use responsibly.